Some commotions in that in Riverfront Park as people were gathering to watch the fireworks display. Spokane police arrested 17 people who had marched through the park protesting police brutality. The commotion started after police say one of the marchers assaulted an officer. KXOY 4's Eric Loney was in the park and tries to sort this out for us. Eric? Yeah, this is really two versions of the same event. The marchers say they were well within their constitutional rights, rights that were celebrating today, to gather peacefully at the park when the police overreacted. Now, Spokane police say they had no choice but arrest some of those protesters when those protesters failed to follow the law. Spokane police arrested 17 people in what was a chaotic and confusing confrontation in the middle of Riverfront Park's 4th of July celebration. About 50 members of the group ASAP, or Alternative Solutions and Possibilities, marched to the park to protest police brutality. They stopped for a picnic at the base of the park's clock tower. The kids never once that I've seen did anything violent outside of just maybe a couple chants to the cops. Spokane police say they responded after the park reported the group was disturbing the entertainment. Police asked the group to leave, but the group didn't. They were getting really close to us and a kid stood up and uh, he tried to make his way around the cops since they were pretty close and he kind of brushed them by the shoulder and they just threw him on the ground. Police described the contact as much more than a brush. As described to me by the officer, he got, he got basically a shoulder or bumped into and then at one point basically a hand up on his throat, you know, deliberately grabbing his throat. After two arrests, police say they asked the group to leave again and it didn't. That's when police made 15 more arrests for failure to disperse and trespassing. We basically, our hand was forced. We did everything we could. It almost looked like they wanted to get arrested or something. Steve Lester watched the chaos from the crowd. Yeah, most of the people thought they were ridiculous. Yeah, people are here to enjoy the fireworks. They didn't want to see some anarchist demonstration. But the protesters say the arrests and the confrontation were unnecessary. I, I think it's lame. I mean, basically what they're doing right now is proving the point of what the protest was is against unnecessary police brutality. And it, that's exactly what happened today was unnecessary police brutality. Now that protester who bumped or choked the police officer also faces a charge of assault. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXOY 4.